So some of the other functions that we have at our disposal are something known as len. Now what len does, as you can see, it's going to give me the length of a string, which is actually very nice when we think about it because, let's say for example, I do just an A. It'll tell me I have one character in there. Now you saw that when I did kind of open this up, return the number of items in a container. We'll obviously get into this entire concept of containers later on, but for our sake, this allows me to just see how many letters were typed or are kind of in this. That's where we get into kind of some interesting points. Something like spaces still technically count in this. Len I write the word happy, but I've put a space in between each letter. That now all of a sudden each one of those counts. There's a space, two, three, four, plus the word happy. So what happens if, say, for example, I come in and I do something like uh, happy slash slash birthday? Well, you can see over here I've got a nice little 14 indicating for happy birthday with a space. Well, and, you know, guessing, uh, oh, that'll, you know, okay, be uh, 15. No, no, it's still a 14. You see, the reason why is because this is known as an escape character. Think of it this way. If you remember we had something like the degree symbol that I can look at. And if you notice, just how I typed it. Uh, when I type it out uh, to kind of print it out, I do slash u, zero, zero, b, zero, and it gets printed out as that. Well, the same thing's actually happening. Let's say, for example, I did len uh, 50 degrees, so slash u, zero, zero, b, zero, f, 50 degrees. Well, what I'm seeing is suddenly I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. So I should see nine. Instead, I see four. Because if I did make this statement and I did print it out instead of lin it, that's exactly what I see. I see four characters instead. We do also have uh, some other kind of neat handy dandy methods to work with. We also have this idea of min and max. And the same kind of concept comes into play here is that if I happen to have, uh, say for example, a group of numbers, I can use min to get the smallest number. If I have a group of numbers and I want to find the maximum, I can use max to find the maximum number. 